Good morning, Bridges of Love Faith Emergency Preparedness Coordination Center. Yes, this is Mark speaking. Your family is done with the flu? Yes, I know this uh, H7N9 has really uh, been causing a lot of havoc in our city. You're not able to get out to get any groceries for your family? Okay, and your what is your name please? Don, and your last name Don, Don White, okay Don, and how many are in your family? A family of six, four young children, and your, you and your wife are both very ill. Oh, we're so sorry to hear that Don. What uh, part of the city are you in? In Northwest Calgary, and what, uh, what area? in Harvest Hills. Okay, Don, just let me have a look at our database and see what churches uh, are in that area. I see that uh, we do have a church actually right in Harvest Hills, not too far from where you live. And I'll just look and see if they have a food bank. Yes, they do have a food bank, so that's uh, good to hear. So what I'll do, Don, is I will give the church a call and uh, tell them your circumstances and just let them know that uh, you need food for at least a couple days to tide you over until you're feeling better and you're able to get out. Is there anything else that you're needing? You need some diapers as well? Okay, we'll be happy to uh, try to get you some diapers as well for the baby. Okay, Don, and how did you hear about, uh, about the uh, Faith Emergency Preparedness Initiative? Somebody came around and delivered a magnet to your door? Oh, I'm so glad that you had this contact information handy. Yes, well, we're very happy to uh, help, and uh, we'll be praying for you and your family that you get better soon. And please don't hesitate to call if uh, anything else is needed. Okay, Don, thank you very much. Bye-bye for now. What you've just heard is a simulation of what could happen when our Faith Coordination Center is activated. Our, our initiative is both a top-down and a bottom-up uh, structure. Uh, as you'll see from the diagram, we can be called either by the Calgary Emergency Management Agency or we can be called by somebody in their community. And uh, fortunately, this subdivision had been um, had been delivered a little magnet with the emergency numbers on it for the city as well as our faith coordination center so that they knew that there was help uh, not too far away. We were also very pleased to have a church in their area that was part of our initiative and it uh, was very easy to see from our database that they had a food bank available with food already on the premise. So somebody uh, would be called uh, from that church to make a delivery to the home to deliver some food uh, to that family and hopefully to uh, keep in contact with them to make sure that they are looked after while they're suffering from this flu. We know that uh, emergencies happen more and more often and with greater severity and we have to be prepared with a coordinated response to uh, know before an emergency happens how to respond to the needs of the community. So thank you very much for watching this little simulation and uh, we will continue to provide resources and uh, to keep you updated on the happenings of the Faith Emergency Preparedness Initiative. Thanks so much.